everybody, it's Alejandra with the Aussie Law Library System and welcome to our Take and Make, where I'm going to show you how to make a pine cone bird feeder. Take and Make kits are available one week prior to our live program, so if you had a chance to pick one up, you can go ahead and follow along with me with the supplies that are included in the kit. If not, the supplies you're going to need for this include a pine cone, you'll need some wild bird seed or like any kind of bird seed as it relates to the birds that are near you or in your backyard, um, a popsicle stick or a knife to spread the vegetable shortening, or you can also use natural peanut butter, um, a piece of twine so we can hang it on our tree, and then I would also recommend some kind of dish or like a paper plate so when you're putting on the bird seed you don't make a huge mess. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, so we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is grab a pine cone and if you're collecting these from outside, I would suggest like giving it a good shake or like a good tap to get any dirt or bugs. There's literally a bug right there. I did just collect this from outside. So I would suggest doing that. If your pine cone is very tightly packed, this one's pretty open, so it should be good. But if it's very tightly packed, I would suggest pulling out some of the scales just to make room so we can pack in more um, of the food and vegetable shortening. So. Now that I have that accomplished, I'm going to take my twine and just go ahead and tie that on first before I start spreading the vegetable shortening. Go ahead and just give it a, a good double knot there. And I've had, I've had a couple of these in my backyard for a few weeks now and I've definitely seen a few birds kind of be feeding off of it. So it's been so great to be able to see some of those birds. So I got my twine. And then next you're going to take your popsicle stick and then just start spreading your vegetable shortening in there between the scales of your pine cone or you can kind of just spread it over top like that whatever suits you best especially if you have a large pine cone i know it can be a little bit time consuming to try and go in between every single scale and you want to just cover as much as you can If you have a very tightly packed pine cone, you can also just, um, instead of putting it in between the scales, just put it over top and kind of just make like a ball of, of food. That must sounds kind of funny, but once you start with your own pine cone, you'll get what I mean. Okay. And I find this to be a really great fun activity for kids, teens, adults. And a great way to attract some birds to, to your yard if you're wanting to do that as well. Yep, and this is about the great a good season to do this as well. Because you know wintertime birds do need a little bit of extra fat. You know, just to stay nice and acclimated to the weather. Maybe not so much in Florida, but you know, it still gets chilly every now and then. And a little bit of extra fat does help. And if you are going to opt for peanut butter to do this, I would recommend going with a natural peanut butter just because you do want something that doesn't have very much like added sugar or too many added preservatives in it. I've also read that this can be done if you don't have vegetable shortening. You can do this with a suet or with um, some kind of animal fat as well. So there's a few options here if you don't have exactly everything that I have here. Okay, I think I got pretty much the whole thing. I like to use the popsicle stick, but when my mom did it, she just used her bare hands. So that might be, <laughs> that might be a little bit more effective if you don't mind getting some of the vegetable shortening on your hands. I personally am just gonna stick to the pine cone method. Okay, I think I got I keep saying I think I got it and then I see more spots where I don't have vegetable shortening already. So I'm satisfied with that. I'm pretty much all covered here in vegetable shortening. So I'm gonna put that in my dish and I'm just gonna sprinkle the bird seed over top and it should just stick to the vegetable shortening or peanut butter, whatever you're using. And then it'll catch any excess so I can use that for another project. Looks like I'm pretty much all covered in, I got it all covered. 
And then I'm using just a, I think a wild bird mix that I got from a gardening store. I think that's what it, it just said wild bird mix for like bird feeders. Okay, we're looking good here. So then once you're done with that, just make sure you place it in a nice shady area to minimize um, the vegetable shortening from melting and you are good to go with your bird feeder. And we have our completed bird feeder. I can't wait to hang this outside on a tree and attract some awesome birds. Um, if you wanted to learn a little bit more about bird watching and bird feeders and gardens, then I would totally recommend this, the Audubon Backyard Bird Watcher, Bird Feeders and Bird Gardens. I did get a lot of tips from here to, about attracting songbirds and things to my yard. So it's definitely a great book to check out if you happen to be at the library. So thanks so much for joining me. As a reminder, our next Crafty Live program is March 24th at 2 p.m. where I'll be doing our Brushes at Brunch program and teaching you how to do a beautiful watercolor landscape. Thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you check out osceolalibrary.org for more information about our fun crafty programs and our other services. Thanks, bye-bye.